But let's go to some more, something more wholesome. Wholesome puppy content. And a kind of Holden versus Ford argument that I've never been able to resolve. You know, one of those real Australian arguments. The question is this. What is the best Australian working dog? Is it the Australian Kelpie? which is that great sheepdog bred right here in this country from a British Collie and some other breeds. I think we got the breed all sorted out more than a century ago. Cheap and it goes all day. Or is it the Border Collie, which is less truly Australian, I have to admit, but it has been working here for a century and, and is as smart as. So which is best? Well, the ABC, now this time to its great credit, is back this week with the second series of Mustard Dogs. Last year it tracked five Kelpies as they were raised and trained to be working dogs. This season will follow five Border Collies from puppydom to its working life. So who better to answer this great Australian question, the Kelpie or the Border Dog, or the Border Collie, than the human star of Mustard Dogs, expert dog trainer Helen McDonald. Helen, thank you so much for joining us. Tell us, what is best, the Kelpie or Border Collie? Many farmers are watching right now, waiting. Thank you for having me on. Um, at the end of the day, it's a personal preference, but we don't want to look at it as a Kelpie versus Border, border Collie. We, we want to be able to emphasise the dog that most suits your needs with your livestock operation at home. So we've got to be looking at the certain working traits, the personality, whether it's a, a, a got a very furry coat or a short coat for grass seed situations. Um, so there's a lot of things, that, aspects and working traits that we need to look at when we've um, got an operation with either sheep or cattle. So at the end of the day, if you have a dog that's calmer and it educates your livestock you, and you don't like to yell at a dog, well, a, perhaps a um, bull a collie might suit you, but then there are Kelpies with uh, family lines that are very calm and do that same paddock style of work. So the family lines within both the Kelpies and the Border Collies certainly are very similar, and it always pays to do your research when you go to purchase uh, a new dog or a pup so that that way you can go to the stud, have a look at their type of dogs because there'll be certain traits that they're breeding for that suit their operation and making sure that, um, that you've got a um, dog that sort of suits your personalities. If you don't mind yelling at a dog all day, go for it. You can go for a more bubbly, um, more outgoing sort of a dog, but for a lot of people, they they like to um, have a situation where it's um, calm and relaxed and enjoyable. And that's why we have a dog, is to um, create great enjoyment in, in our day's work. So we need to go for a dog that's a lot calmer and easier to train and have the memory to not have to be teaching it the same thing every time you get it out to work. So let me get... So, let me see if I can understand. Are you, are you trying not to be uh, showing any uh, preference? But what is the fundamental difference? The Kelpie seems to me, from what you're saying, to be uh, a bit more mind of its own and the Border Collie more reserved and uh, more English, shall we say. Is that the fundamental difference? A little bit, yes, but you can certainly get um, Kelpies uh, that are calm with the, the similar sort of personality traits as a Border Collie. So it, it just depends on the family line and the genetics and the traits that breeders are breeding for. So um, really okay. it's quite, yeah. Yeah, well, it seems to me that the curious thing about this is that people still need farm dogs. Is that uh, true? Absolutely. And the labour shortages in Australia are extremely concerning. We've got to look at the average age of farmers in their 60s. So we've got to prepare a young workforce for in 10 years' time. So when we've got a big percentage of farmers looking to retire or at least slow down their work pay, um, work lifestyle. So um, we, we've got to encourage young people to come into the industry Dogs are fantastic for edu educating your livestock to be calmer, 
are more cooperative and that way they are easier to work and that, then you don't need those more boisterous dogs to work your livestock if you've got them educated because they want to flow through yards and they want to flow through gateways. Um, you can get away with a more settled, easier dog to work. So that, that's we've just got to look at our situation. Um, but it's, dogs are great for people's mental health. Um, for some people, they are doing a lot of work on their property on their own, and dogs are good, fantastic company. And it's um, some support from the dog, and just just their um, ability to be able to read the play, and they they know when you're having a, a tough day and a sad day, they sort of sidle up and have a bit of a cuddle with you, and all that's so important for our oh, mental my health. My dog does. Oh, my my dog does exactly the same, but uh, wouldn't know what to do with a sheep. In fact, he uh, just stared at a possum that walked through our uh, back door, didn't uh, raise a, a hackle. So the dogs, right? I think these uh, working farm dogs are just marvellous. Helen McDonald, thank you so much indeed for your time. Really appreciate it. But I still think we're no closer to answering it than uh, we were in the uh, Ford versus Holden debate either, were we? There you go. I think though the Kelpie is more Aussie, the Border Collie probably more if you like your cup of tea.